Well, many of us saw the fall of Afghanistan from afar, but imagine living in it. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith shares the story of an Afghan refugee fleeing danger to start a new life here in central New York. Since 2016, Omar Farouk was living in Afghanistan. I had a very good life there. Omar was working as a lecturer at the American University in Kabul, an expert in computer science. But during his final days in Afghanistan, he found himself surrounded by danger and chaos caused by the Taliban. I was 100% sure that I'm going to be killed, 100%. Because of his status and career, Omar's life was at an even greater risk, making his escape even more challenging. He, his wife and sister-in-law spent days outside of the Kabul airport, doing everything they could to get inside. I jumped into to the sewage and gave my phone to the American soldier and he was talking to the members of Department of States. And then finally he agreed and uh, gave me a hand and I was inside. And that moment uh, that he said, yeah, he's good to go, uh, that was the, the, the most amazing moment for me, that he's good to go. Packed on a flight with hundreds of other Afghan refugees, his plane left Kabul and flew to Qatar. Omar then arrived in Germany, spending 15 days there, and then he flew to Dallas. I independently departed from the camp, and I independently came here because, like, I spent five months and it was impossible for me to spend more time and I said, I have to go and I have to do everything by myself. That's when Omar called Interfaith Works. They told him to pack his bags and come to Syracuse. And we were so thankful that finally we came after like a five month journey, spending in tents, spending in dirt, being in sewage, shouting for help. Everything that I had, just my experience, it was like very hard. So when we came here, uh, we were just like, finally we said, now we have reached our destination. An opportunity to start a new life, new chapter. Right here in central New York. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And Omar plans to continue his education. He hopes to get a job in cybersecurity. He also got his driver's permit today. Interfaith Works received a $65,000 grant from the CNY Community Foundation to help with basic necessities for the 200 Afghan refugees now living in Syracuse.